hi guys welcome to my channel today i have got some good news and breakdown that i want to share with you as you already know on this channel i bring out information concerning uk migration every good vibe and positive vibes that comes in between i know that the recent news that the uk government brought out concerning the five point immigration has brought a lot of fear and panic in people and people are wondering how can we travel without bringing our families how can we do this without doing that honestly when you hear the news at first you begin to panic but on the other hand when you sit down to calculate certain things and put them together which is what i'm going to be doing in today's video you realize that there is a solution to every problem if even if it's not every problem or every one of these points based even if it's not every problem that we can solve, there are so many ways of killing a cat. And so I don't want you to panic because we all panic when we hear the news, what is happening. But there is some good news that I'm going to be sharing with you. The first is that the NHS has come out to say that its employers are not subject to not bringing dependents in the UK. Which basically means that if you are coming over to the UK to work with the NHS, being it a carer, being it a nurse, being it whatever, you can bring your dependents. This basically means that try to now shoot for NHS jobs. If you are coming in and you are coming in with family and you plan to bring your family together with you. So guys, this is from the NHS um, employer's official website which says that changes to UK immigration policy. Okay, so because the policy came out, a lot of people were panicking. NHS came out to speak. He says that on the 4th December 2023, the UK government announced changes to the immigration system that will take effect from spring 2024. In response, we put together a brief question and answers below. He says that the changes made to the health and care visa route will only affect the care sector, which means that the private, the care homes are going to be affected and not the NHS. When the changes take place, which is spring next year, which starts for March, care workers and senior care workers will be unable to bring their dependents. It means if you're a healthcare assistant and um, a senior healthcare assistant, you cannot bring your family and also only CQC registered providers in England will be able to sponsor health and care visa applicant. These changes does not affect the NHS. So it means if you are shooting your shots moving forward, target the NHS. And I think this is a nice opportunity that the NHS wants to use. I mean, to get more um, applicants or overseas workers into the system, which is brilliant news. Okay. So nothing else has changed apart from that let's go down to the frequent question and answers you are asking can you bring your family he said there are no changes to the policy on dependence for nhs staff you will be able to bring your partner and your children as your dependent if they are eligible it means if you can prove their relationship is valid and these children are yours you can bring them he says a dependent partner or child is any of the following a husband wife civil partner or an unmarried partner yeah your children under 18, including if they were born in the UK during your stay. Your children over 18, if they are currently in the UK as your dependent, if you can prove that these children depend on you, you are the one looking after them, you can still bring them with you to the UK. You will need to still provide evidence of a relationship to your dependent when you apply for their visa. The next question is that my dependents are already in the UK. Would they be able to stay? Yes, there are no changes to eligibility depending uh, for NHS dependent. The next question is, when will these changes take effect? We are expecting these changes to take effect in spring 2024, which is obviously from March, mid to end of March next year. It means you have got more time to take your time to shoot your applications through. Um, next question is, I have a job offer and some of these changes will affect my plans. What should I do? If you are being recruited to the NHS role, there should be no changes to your current offer. It means if you've got a job offer already, stick on to that. Nothing has changed, okay? Can I come to the UK sooner so I am not affected by these changes? If you are being recruited to the NHS role, there should be no changes to your current role. It means you should not rush, take your time, and come 
when your job offer states that you should come. And then the last but certainly not the least question is that where can care workers and organizations that support carers find more information on how they are affected? This Q&A is for NHS staff only. We hope to provide a link to advise care workers shortly. It means that, you know, care workers or private companies do not have one uniform body like the NHS. So if there is any update that is dropped on here, we will definitely share to you for you to be updated as well. As I said in this video, I'm going to be giving you solutions to this dependent issues that is coming up that is making people to panic. Before you go into this video, I'm going to be telling you that if you find a job that you want to apply in the UK, do not stop. Keep applying, keep applying, and keep applying because guess what? All these bucket changes are going to be taking effect from next spring. And so you still have time, you've still got time to take your time to do things the way you want them to be done. It's just that you are time bound, okay? So if you apply for NHS jobs, you are not part of this dependency issue. You can bring your dependence with you. The NHS has clearly stated it now. They have come out to clear everybody's doubt that this does not apply to the NHS. The private companies and the care homes have not come out to say anything yet. But still, if you apply for a care home or a private company job, I said keep applying and do not give up. Right. As part of the five point systems that they raised, they said that you can only bring your dependent if you are earning £38,700 per annum and people are asking a lot of questions who earns that in the uk do you, do you want us to shout do you want us to shout there are a lot of people especially my nurses who are working in private and care homes who are earning one and half of that money i've just mentioned or even almost twice of that money by working hard do not panic if you're a nurse, if you're a health worker, even if you're a doctor, listen, you will earn that money. I am telling you, if you're a healthcare assistant, do not panic. I said do not panic. There is light at the end of every tunnel. I don't want to shout in this video. I think what they are trying to do is that they are just trying to tell you to come first as a main applicant and take your time to settle in and bring your dependent. Let me use myself as an example. When I did a video and told people why I left my children behind and came to the UK alone, the comment in that comment section, it is today that people will understand that it is a smart decision. It is a wise decision. Listen, you have to give your children, especially a soft landing. There is no point in coming to a country where you don't know what you are going to face and bringing little children who will not have the peace and the quietness and the joy to enjoy that new country that they are coming to. Guess what? When you come into the UK as the main applicant at first, yeah? You come to work for one year, you have gained UK experience, you have exposure in the system, you can apply for jobs that are paying more, high earning jobs. I am using myself as an example. When I came to the NHS, my salary was 24,907 at entry point. One year of being with the NHS, I took a personal decision to leave to the care home and I earned more than twice of what I was earning in the NHS. If you're a registered nurse, there are a lot of companies that are earning or paying you more than that money that is the threshold that they are asking. Listen, if you're a carer and probably you are wondering, what if I'm a carer and I can't do this? You can. You know that the UK, you know that the UK has increased the minimum wages the cut off for minimum wages by 9.8%, which means that if you are working in the UK, no employer can employ you and pay you less than £11.44, which I have shared on this channel as well. What is going to happen is that if you come into the UK, even as a carer, and you have earned one year experience, you can get some jobs like support worker that can pay you £16 to £17 per hour as a support worker. For instance, you were a nurse or you have a relevant degree in another field, but you were happy to come in as a healthcare assistant. Don't settle as a healthcare assistant. If you want to bring your family, you can be doing courses like MVQ level three. If you were a nurse, try working towards getting your pin or your license to practice. In my next video, I'll be sharing some NHSs that give opportunities to healthcare assistants or people who are already nurses from their home country to guide them for free, help them to get their license, 
to practice as registered nurses. Jump onto this program. Just give yourself a year or two to better yourself from that health assistant, you know, uh, point that you are. Do some courses that will make you a support health worker, a mental health practitioner and all that and help you to boost your salary. And then you can get up to that maximum threshold of £38,700 so that you can bring in your family. If you are doing this job on a 48-hour contract per week, let's see how much you are going to be earning. Let's do the mathematics here. Okay, so I have got my calculator here. If you are being paid £16 per hour, on a 48 hour contract and you are doing this for a calendar year which is 12 months you are going to be paid 39,936 this is it 39,936 in my tradition we say that bibia born in nani yim it means that everything behind every negative thing there might be something positive that is coming out it is practically telling you that when you come in do not settle for jobs that do not pay well settle for jobs that are paying you more where you can earn more than that thirty-eight thousand seven hundred pounds and you can bring in your family with you guys do not panic. This country called UK is a country where there are a lot of inconsistencies. They can say something today, tomorrow they will change their mind. And we all know that the UK is in a strong political era where a lot of things are happening. So do not panic. You can hear information today. Tomorrow they will change their mind. As of now, people in authority are telling the government that, listen, this industry or this care industry cannot survive without carers. And we are also saying that the carers should come with their families. So all that we are trying to tell you is that do not panic. Put in your application, but make sure it is a genuine application you are doing. Once you've gotten that job and you've landed in the UK, irrespective of the salary they are giving you, accept that job as far as they can bring you in. Accept the job. If you have your family, give them a year or two. Nothing will happen to them. They won't die. I did it. I left my family for two years. Nothing happened to them. Today, everybody is happy and they're enjoying the country as they should. So leave them behind. Give them a year or two. Tell them, listen, I'm going to hustle. I'm going to make it. When you have come, hustle. Put in your effort. By the time you are ready to bring in your family, you should get a good job. Get Jump onto another job that is going to earn or give you something meaningful that can go up to that thirty-eight thousand seven hundred pounds and you can still bring your family i know it's not everybody that can you know get to that limit but there are people here in uk that are earning that all i want to tell you is that as an entry level person coming into the uk nobody will give you that thirty-eight thousand seven hundred, obviously but even if you're a nurse coming to work in a care home at entry level, if they are paying you £16 per hour, that is more than that 38700 and you can still bring your family. So this is just some exciting and good news that I want you to keep at the back of your mind. That do not give up. Keep applying for your job. Keep applying. Don't give up. I've shared companies where you can find jobs. Click on that video and watch it. Keep applying. Do not give up because at the end of the day, there is solution to every problem. I love you all with the love of God. Thank you so much for watching, for constantly coming back to the channel. My name still remains Becca and you're welcome to join my family on this channel. Basically, I talk about nursing. I do lifestyle vlogs, videos, a little bit of me, fun and positive vibes here and there. Smash the like button for this video. Turn the post notification bell icon so that anytime you're down, upload a video, you'll be notified and be able to watch until we meet again in my next video, guys. Bye-bye.